In this video, we'll discuss how to adjust parameters using sliders and manual input methods. Let's go ahead and only show the wing so that we can get an idea of what we're actually doing here. And we'll copy and paste another piece here. So that wing that I just made is in the same position as it was before. Let's shift it off a little bit and change the color so we know which one we're working with. Now, I can either slide this around and try and fit it back to where it was, but notice that I'm only moving this a little bit and it's kind of jumping all over the place. Now, if you want to do all this by hand, it's still very easy to do. Let's quickly go to a top view, zoom in, and let's try and match up the leading edge of this new component with the leading edge of the old one. Now again, you can see that I'm kind of dragging it around and it's moving all over the place, but notice how these brackets on either side of the slider are pointing inward. If we click on these, that means that it's collapsing the range of this slider down. And as I move this, see how it's not jumping around quite so much. And if I just click on it several times, you can see that you can get very, very fine control of the slider. Now, as I drag it all the way over to the right, I can't go any farther, but see how this changed from an inward facing arrow to an outward facing arrow. This means that I can now expand the range and it jumps it to the closest value. You see how the leading edge of the new component jumped. Now we can click and slowly drag it back to where they're right on top of each other at 15, where I had it originally. Now, if you'd like to do this a different way, you can of course highlight the value, type in 15, enter, and it'll snap to that position. Or, since version 3.20, OpenVSP has a smart input field for all of these text boxes. So let's say that we're at 14 and we want to add one foot, you simply type plus one, enter, and you're at 15. This is useful for those of us that happen to work in fractional units. So if we know we want to go to 15 and one half, 15.5, it does the computation for you automatically and inputs the decimal value in the field. If you happen to know how many different dimensions you need to sum together, you can just say, well, this is two plus five plus one plus three, you know, whatever, enter, and it sums all that up. So you can chain these all together, and it's the normal mathematical operators. You can multiply, you can divide, you can add, subtract, and you can use exponential notation. So if we did something like set two to the second power, four. So you can see how powerful the text input field has become with this new smart input and how you can quickly slide these brackets around and change your notation so you can manually place components very, very accurately. 